Beginning tomorrow, the public can help keep the system clean. KPX 5's Jessica Flores explains how. Among the symphony of sounds at BART stations, there are also these sites greeting BART riders. Drug users shooting up, captured in video from Civic Center BART and in pictures from the Concord BART elevator. You go up the tunnel to the financial district, there's people right on the stairs and you know, they're using needles or they're smoking. Human waste is something that I've seen frequently. BART is now launching a mobile app where you can report biohazards like needles and even human waste. You can get that app at BART.gov starting Monday. But the app won't address the root of the problem. Maurice Benton says he's lived on the streets and thinks the city and BART aren't doing enough. Both of them have more money that they can put into different programs for the drug offenders, for the homeless people. But BART is a transit agency. You know, we're not a social service agency. BART board member and former San Francisco homeless czar Bevan Dufty spoke to KPIX 5's Phil Mateer. Dufty is putting blame on the city for growing homelessness and drug use at stations. You know, don't tell me that you don't have resources to de dedicate some shelter beds. We've got to step up because it's an unacceptable situation in San Francisco, what's going on in Civic Center. And I think that BART has stepped up and is doing its share. San Francisco uh, Mayor Mark you. Farrell is increasing the budget to fight homelessness to the tune of $29 million. The biggest thing is to get them help, right? And if we can get them the right help, then we can definitely make an impact. In San Francisco, Jessica Flores, KPIX 5.